What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to a super quick video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install and use YouTube Music on your desktop. Now, you may already be saying it's only a website and it is. Much like with Google Play Music, there was a Google Play Music desktop, a fan-made open source piece of software that you can download and use much like Spotify, Tidal or any other platform and that exists for YouTube Music. It is actually built into and part of Google Play Desktop, but this is a separate project that's only focusing on YouTube music. So, hey, that's what we'll be covering in this video in particular. In the description down below, you'll find a link to a GitHub web page. Head across to it and you'll see something like this. When you reach this page over here, you're more than welcome to read about the project and see that it's pretty well trusted and pretty well maintained. Of course, only really up until recently. It's been a couple of months since the last update, but I would assume this still has things being added to it. Anyways, on the right hand side at the very top, you'll see releases. You'll need to head across to here, then look for the ones at the very top of the list. You'll see a whole bunch of pre-releases, which are early access builds, and you'll see latest release in green. This is what we're looking for. Scroll down to the bottom of the info until you see a whole bunch of blue links. Download the one that matches your computer. App Image for I assume Linux, DMG for I assume iOS, and EXE for Windows. I'll be downloading this one. Click on it to open it up when it's done downloading, and the installation process will begin. Eventually, it'll open up on your desktop. Wow, that's pretty big. And you'll see YouTube Music. Nothing too crazy. If we click Settings in the top right, you'll see a separate window. This isn't just a web page viewer anymore. It's got a whole bunch of settings over here that we can customize and it works really well. Click sign in in the top right and you'll need to sign in with your Google account. After signing in, you'll be redirected to this page over here if you haven't used YouTube Music before. Otherwise, you'll see your normal account as you usually would, assuming you have the right profile selected. You can select a different profile by clicking the icon in the top right. So I'll simply select some artists here. After selecting a handful, you'll now be presented with a whole bunch of music as you usually would. After getting it to play something, it'll work exactly as you hope. Using the media keys on your keyboard will of course work. It'll show you the title and the rest when you're changing in Windows, though for me it's not showing now for some reason. And it's working basically as any other music player would. We can change volume in the bottom right, casting, etc, etc. And if we click settings in the top right, we can adjust some things with our computer, such as the appearance on it, if we have a custom theme, integrations such as Discord rich presence, and other things as well. If we turn on Discord rich presence, we can edit the settings here as well. But after changing that setting and restarting, heading across to Discord, you'll see exactly what you're listening to, and so will others. It's not really as official as Spotify's integration, but it works pretty well. I've seen a couple of programs do this sort of thing, and I'm glad to see it here in this. Of course, on top of this, we also have the lyrics, which is yet another pop-out window, and we have the mini player, which looks something like this. For me, it's a bit too much, but maybe you'll find a place where this fits in. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.